first step to a truly bee-friendly garden is to avoid insecticides. Be careful when buying plants from major retailers like Home Depot or Lowe's. Many of their plants are still treated with insecticides like neonicotinoids, which are extremely toxic to bees and other pollinators. Home Depot has actually started labeling plants treated with neonicotinoids, so watch out for those labels. If possible, purchase bee-safe organic plants, or, if you're feeling up to it, Grow your own plants from seed. This way you can be certain that they are pesticide free. One of the best ways to initially attract pollinators to your garden is to provide food. In the case of bees, it's with flowers that provide nectar and pollen. Your first choice to support native bees should be native plants. There are many different kinds of bees, with species varying according to your geographic location. Bumblebees, carpenter bees, leafcutter bees, digger bees, sweat bees, and mason bees are among the most effective pollinators. In view of declining honeybee populations, these other types of bees are gaining ecological and agricultural importance. This video will give you 12 plants which are good sources of nectar and pollen for both honeybees and other pollinators. The Echinops is a good source of nectar for bees. These are drought tolerant plants and they can grow in many different areas, making them undemanding and easy to grow. Hotlip salvia is a good source of nectar for pollinators. Here we see a carpenter bee feeding on it. Lavender hyssop is native to the Midwestern US. This plant provides nectar for honeybees like these ones. Borage is another good source of nectar. It's a hardy annual herb that is fairly easy to grow. Native to the Mediterranean region, it's an ideal plant for a California garden. Blackberry plants provide both pollen and nectar for bees. Not to mention, these plants are a great addition to your edible garden. About 100 species of goldenrod are native to North America. They're an important source of both pollen and nectar. If you want to attract a variety of bees to your pollinator garden, goldenrod is the perfect choice. Pollinators love Dutch white clover and visit it to collect its nectar. Lavender flowers and their nectar are among the most attractive to bees. Bumblebees are the most frequent visitors, followed by honeybees and few solitary bees. If you let your vegetables flower, they will actually be great sources of pollen and nectar for bees. Common in eastern and central North America, purple cone flowers are a good source of both nectar and pollen. Since it provides both pollen and nectar, Gaylardia, or blanket flower, attracts many pollinators. Each sunflower's central disc contains hundreds of smaller tubular flowers, each with its own supply of nectar and pollen. The outer bright yellow petals help attract pollinators. Bees go from flower to flower within the disc, becoming covered with pollen. Sunflowers rely on a variety of bees, bumblebees, and other pollinators to set seed.